Okay guys, hello and welcome. We're back with some more Minecraft and this is part two. Alright, so gotta let that iron cook up. We were just down there. Let's go down, run down, check on our farm. I remember seeing we had quite a few things ready, which is awesome. It's a pretty good amount of food we got. Okay, and that one right there. All right, so now we want to replant it. Okay, so this is a small little farm. Not really like high yield, but again, it's one of those things that, like you saw how much food we just got there. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is we seem to have plenty of sugar cane. Find a few more. Um, I guess they're wheat. Because right now, sugar is not really helping us that much where the wheat is, so. It's going to be a short part today, guys. I just wanted to try and get you guys a little something to see. If you haven't seen part one, tune into that. We got some pretty cool, some pretty cool footage. Alright, I need to get some more wood. So this is the first time you're seeing the outdoor regions of my little area here. We're pretty much completely surrounded by water. And we're high up in a mountain. Ooh, that's too high. Okay. And... We just need a small amount of wood, just enough so we can make a couple more chests and some sticks for um, some more pickaxes, maybe some ladders, torches, things like that. <clears throat> uh, maybe one more. Uh, dun dun. Yeah, but so, basically right up there by those trees, that's where our house is, we're basically in a crevice in between two mountains, which is kind of cool. Um, my eventual idea is to build our underground shelter, which is a new thing. I normally build above ground houses, but an underground shelter, and um, I hope to build all the way to the ground down here somewhere so there's a quick ground exit to like a tr little tree farm that we can maybe make or something um, I think that's it um, do I need anything else I don't think so okay in case you can't tell there is a small little path dug into here it's not easy for the creepers to follow me up using this path. It's easier to come up than it is to come down because most of the time when I'm coming down I just kind of run and normally there's some guys down there but none today. Alright, let's head downstairs. Alright, we want to make Again, using that shift, which is helpful, I'm going to make two different chests. Okay. One chest is going to go over there. I'm going to put one chest right over here. This chest is going to be for food and food items. And this one is going to be for miscellaneous items.
um, sugarcane. Yeah. Okay. So that is our food stockpile right as of current. Um, what else did I need to put in there? We'll put that away, put that away, that away. The bone. I'm gonna try to do a cool thing. Make it in use the bone meal and you make these like large mushrooms, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, so that's what I, I want to make some sort of mushroom farm, whether it be a large or small down here. Although the grass did grow pretty well. I don't know, maybe we'll try the large mushrooms. I don't know. Depends. Um, we checked our farm. That's all good. Okay, um. I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, so. Now. I don't really want to get into going back down to the cavern right now. I only have a few more minutes, but let's see if we can add another few rows to this farm. And in the next episode, we will begin working on um, our mushroom farm, whether it be a traditional one or a large mushroom farm. Now I've yet to build a successful large mushroom. I don't know whether it's because I'm like retarded or what, so we'll figure that out hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But in the meantime, we've got plenty to do in our little Minecraft world. Okay, so now this one you know what? Let's make it a three pather. Now if I could get down there. That'll be a walking path, that'll be that, a water path, and that'll be a food path. This way it's easier to access. I think I want to build a door to access the back of the right up there. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Frequently, when I don't want to walk in the front of the house, I just use the back. So, we might put a door in there, too. Okay, now this will be our water trough, which feeds the water to our plants. Now we're just going to get rid of this, and we're going to put a line of dirt, which is where our plants will grow. So before we put the water in, I'm going to build another door. So there's a good source of water down there. I could just run down and get it. Okay. Do I have my bucket? No, I do not have my bucket. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got some more food ready, but we just harvested, so that can wait. Right down here. I want to hurry, but we only need two buckets of water in reality. Make a nice little staircase, make it a little bit easier to. You know what? What I need to just do is the easiest way is to. You know what? We'll do it right over here. It'll be easier because this way it'll be constant. Just take a little 4x4 four four piece of land. plugging up that hole there. 
Okay, so not there. We'll go right here, I guess. This will just create a nice limitless source of water. That way we can draw as much water as we need from there. To fill up our trough here. I think I'll probably end this part right now. Not, not the greatest thing, but we'll end the part with me finishing up our little farm here. Yay, farm. Now the water's constant, so we're good. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. As usual, look out for some more videos in the future. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's put our bucket away. Alright, so in the next part again, mushrooms. I know how much you guys love the shrooms. Thank you. Alright, thanks guys.